What's up, everybody? You're halfway through the week. Thanks for joining us here on First Take. They are, Skip. It's hump day. The one and only Ray Lewis will be with us later on. Looking forward to that. Mm. Skip Bayless, Stephen A. Smith. I'm mm. Molly Karam. Good, good day, gentlemen. Welcome back to Bristol, Connecticut. Yeah. Love it when you're here. Uh -huh. I yeah. want to know, what do you think you're doing? Cheering for the Denver Broncos? What you doing with those colors on well, it? I, I love it. I, I'm trying to compete with you, Stephen GQ Smith, mm. right? I do like that yeah, name. Yeah. I do like that name. It's not Stephen A. It's Stephen but GQ. Do, but you do know you don't. You you know you can't compete. No, I oh. I'm just uh, over here in my little area over yeah, here. I just yeah. tried yeah. to compete yeah. yeah. with all not, that. Not the wardrobe. Not the wardrobe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I don't think okay. I think you know better than that. But debating? Yes. Yeah. Big mm -hmm. edge over here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Speaking of that, we've got a personal one right now, gentlemen. Yeah. You just heard Jerry Jones on Des Bryant status for Sunday when the Cowboys travel to the Giants. The last time they played each other was at the start of the season and. Dez broke his foot Ooh. in the Cowboys season opening Ooh. win. This is a huge division game. The G-Men are looking to redeem themselves. Skip. Yes. Is Dez going to play? Stephen A. Smith. Obviously, I hope that Dez Bryant plays. Yeah, well. I hope that he catches five touchdown passes Ooh. from Matt outhouse to the castle, oh, yeah. Matt Castle starting this Sunday for my Dallas Cowboys. But Stephen A. Smith, I, I obviously also hope that it remains 80 degrees every day this winter in Bristol, Connecticut. I don't think that's going to happen. I could be wrong, but I don't think that's going to happen, which means I think it will take a miracle for Des Bryant to play, which means I do not think that he will play. For the record, again, he has a Jones fracture, the fifth metatarsal of his right foot. And I spoke again last night, Stephen A., to a prominent orthopedic surgeon who treats a lot of professional athletes, who reminded me that in his experience, this injury takes at least three months to heal. Three months to heal a Jones fracture, and that there's also high risk, as we, we remember with Kevin Durant, of re-injury if you rush back. So, Stephen A. Smith. Uh, Des Bryant is five weeks into recovery, so minimum of three months, says the orthopedic surgeon I know and trust, and he's five weeks into recovery. Now, he did try the new experimental stem cell treatment in which you obviously take some stem cells from some fatty tissue somewhere in your body, maybe your love handles, and you inject it. Well, that's the best place to take you them. You don't have any of them. No, I don't have them, but Stephen A. has small ones anyway. I do. It, yeah, small do. ones. You're not yeah. the only one. Okay. I do. So you take your stem cells from gone. some fatty of portion love. of your body, and you inject it into where the injury occurred or the surgery happened, and you hope that it miraculously speeds recovery. Mm -hmm. There's no data on how that will do because it's so new that I, I can't tell you what's going to happen, but it was shocking to me that according to the Dallas Cowboys, I'm going to have to trust their word on this, Des Bryant has been doing running drills on the field, power running drills, mm -hmm. and that they are hopeful that he at least can try to practice this week. If you want to know my, my gut feeling truth here, Stephen A., and I'm always objective about my Cowboys as opposed to how other people are not objective about the teams they love, mm -hmm. but in my case, I'm here to tell you I'm, I'm starting to believe Jerry Jones is just messing with the New York football giants. He's just trying to to push them to prepare for the possibility, the long shot possibility, that the best receiver in pro football, Des Bryant, will somehow miraculously emerge Sunday late afternoon at the Giants Stadium and, and play and play very well. Do I think that's going to happen? No. Do I want the Giants to have to worry that that's going to happen? Yes, I do. So do I think this is a little bit of a, of a little tactic on Jerry Jones' part? Yeah, little little playing with the giant psyche. Yes, I do. I do not think he will play. I hope he does. I hope the Giants have to prepare for it. You know, it's interesting, and I want, and I, I appreciate you starting off the show with this subject. Usually, I'd be nauseated yes, about would. talking about the Cowboys. Yeah, in this that's particular, true. But in this particular instance, it does not bother me because I find it absolutely comical that this is a relevant subject in your mind. And the reason why I feel that way, Skip Bayless, is because. It's interesting how you just acknowledge that Jerry Jones was playing games. Mm -hmm. This is what the Dallas Cowboys have <laughs> resorted to, playing games, trying to stall injury mm -hmm. reports from coming out, trying to give the impression, well, maybe if they think that Des Bryant is going to play, it'll hamper their their, their preparation mm -hmm. for the game. It could. That would put us in an mm -hmm. advantageous position. Yes. It yes. just once again shows how 
pathetic oh, how the pathetic. Dallas yeah. Cowboys are. Yeah. Do you know, Skip, as I look at their numbers, mm -hmm. your leading receiver is Jason Witten. He's got about 271 mm -hmm. yards. Your second leading receiver in terms of receptions, I believe, is Cole Beasley. Mm -hmm. Your third leading receiver, uh, uh, I think it's Lance Dunbar. Yep. I think it's Lance Dunbar. Uh, you, you haven't you know, gotten to Terrence Williams listen, yet, listen, I, haven't, I have not. I have no. not. Well, let's look at Terrence Williams. Yep. That would be 14 receptions for 223 yards. 14 receptions in five games. 14. Okay, but that games. was because of Brandon just stay yeah, off the well, weed. Are we sure? Am are I we right? Sure? Are we sure? Yes. Are we sure? He never looked in I, that I mean, direction. I, I, all I'm trying to say to you, Skip, is this. Yeah. I find it comical because what enters my mind is this. Do you know that in the six games or in the five games, rather, that the Dallas Cowboys have played this season, you only have one 100-yard game from a receiver who actually wasn't a receiver. It's a running back. Lance Dunbar had 10 receptions for 100 yards. Who's my versus quarterback? Versus the Atlanta Falcons. Mm -hmm. yes. Outside of that, mm -hmm. you don't have anything going on. So it just speaks to the level of desperation that the Dallas Cowboys are willing to engage in. Once again, mm -hmm. they show their joke tendencies. Joke tendencies. Because tendency. this is what they wait, are. Wait, are they Listen, not? And here's who, the deal. Who won the NFC get, East last year? I don't year. recall. Okay, I have no recollection you. of that right now. Yep. I'm talking about this day okay. right now. So I can understand what you're coming from, where you're coming from. But all it does is basically take me to a place that I'm very familiar with being in. And that is in looking at the Dallas Cowboys and laughing mm -hmm. at how pathetic they can be. Mm. Because it's once again, let me get let, let, let me get into all kind of machinations. Let me make sure we, we engage in trickery. Let's fool folks. Let's let's delay the injury report. Let's give the impression to the local media that Des Bryant is going to be ready. Let's sit up there and elevate the level of hope for Cowboy Nation, the pathetic fan base that you're a part of. When we sit up Wait, there the and ones we talk who drive about, your radio how, show, the, those listen, listen, excuse me. Actually they don't. They yeah. don't. See, I don't need the Cowboys to get ratings for uh, my show. I'll, I can be careful. promise you that. I be don't careful. need them. Listen, don't call me. Cowboy don't, Nation, let's not turn talk, it off. Let's not talk about the Cowboys. Turn that dial. Say, Stephen, hold on, hold on. Yeah. Stephen A. Smith, yeah. Sirius XM, yeah. Mad Dog Sports Radio, <laughs> Channel 82, yeah. International, yeah. 1 to 3 p.m. every weekday, Eastern Standard yeah. Time. Ratings Let me just tell you something plunged, right now. They did okay. not plunge. Yeah. They did not plunge. Because the Dallas Cowboys, I don't need Dallas Cowboys Nation. I can't stand. And Dallas Cowboy Nation. A matter of fact, that's the only bad yep. part about my radio show. And I find myself calling people Skip. It's this dude, Rick from D.C. I call him Skip yeah. because of all of these Cowboy fans that call up yeah. living in something other than reality once yep. again. Yep. This is what we're talking about here. You, are for, you have literally opened the show and reminded us of some orthopedic surgeon, mm -hmm. you know, that gave you some advice about this. That's how desperate y'all oh, are. I, I that's was how objective about it. It. It's I was up desperation. Was I not? It's desperation. I, I didn't say he was going to play. Because what they did, I understand that. But what you did was, well, you know what? The orthopedic surgeon tells us it's at least three months. He's but Des is practicing. Oh no, no, he's a fabulous journalist. We ain't completely debating that about Skip Bayless. But the point is, he's been running hard, and he's got a chance, and he might defy, the, you know, the expertise, the medical experts. Stem cells, oh, please. Stem, stem cells, cell, whatever. From the love really, that's where from we the love are. Handles. That's, that's where you take that's from. Where we are. I'm I, that that's, that's, where that's, that's where we are. That's where we are. That's where we are. That's the mean, truth. Are we gonna, invite, are we gonna invite politics into the situation? Are we gonna get uh, our uh, 43rd president George W. Yeah. Bush talking about stem cell research There's and a some fly of the stuff? Are, are we gonna be talking yeah. about all of this stuff? Yeah. I mean, oh, stop, oh, stop it, stop please. It. Don't don't get me started. Stem cell. That's what we've resorted to. We the have. Dallas Cowboys yeah. have We're us inside. talking about stem cells. That's where we regress to. Mm -hmm. That's how desperate y'all are to be relevant again. I'll catch that fly there, there's a, a fly, fly on, your that's no, what, on your argument that's not on your argument the fly is flying with my <laughs> argument. that's why it's coming towards you and everything yeah, you right. wouldn't bothering me yeah. wouldn't bothering okay, me because you know the fly dog. knows okay but, I'm but, telling but the over truth. here i'm just fly that's all i am oh. just fly. you know what you know what the orange you know what? and blue does yeah, look kind of nice thank you thank you you came around it does and i'm proud that you know that's that that lingo fly using that verbiage i'm very proud skip i'm wearing off for you i'm wearing off for you so we took the noun and made it an adjective, that's right. right? That's right. That's, that's okay. right. All right, so, is that all you got? That's all I got. You, you I don't need anything else. Okay, you, you I don't need anything else.
who was who used to be my quarterback mm -hmm. was the guy who admitted just two weeks right, ago, right, Brandon, right. just stay off the weed and the yeah. weed that, that he's thing. been unlucky his whole life. He mm -hmm. admitted that Norv Turner, his first coach in the National Football League, told him, Brandon, I don't know what you did to people in your former life, but you've just been the unluckiest player I've ever coached. I don't want that guy as my Dallas Cowboy quarterback. I know Brandon. I like Brandon. I don't want him to be my quarterback. Matt Castle is a professional quarterback with a proven track record. He's thrown 96 touchdown passes in this league to only 70 interceptions. And he helped step in for Tom Brady and lead the Patriots to an 11-5 record. And then he went to Kansas City and he led them to an 11-5 record. As Jerry Jones astutely pointed out the other day, Matt Castle will have have the nerve to step up in the pocket and take some some good risks not crazy risks some careful risks if that's not an oxymoron mm -hmm. so he will step up and try to throw the ball downfield to maybe Terrence Williams maybe he's gonna catch three or four big balls in this game my yeah. defense I love my offense I'm starting to get back on the bandwagon up and and again is it is it a long shot possibility that Dez steps out on the field just to inspire his teammates? It's possible. So I'm going to so, cling so, so, to so, the hope. So now I'm, we're talking about yeah. Dez Bryant being the modern day football yes, version of Willis Reed. Reed. Thank you. That's I what thought we're doing. of that, but That's I didn't think you'd want me that to go is there. Unbelievable. But it's possible. The level of this isn't exactly the NBA finals. You're embarrassing yeah. yourself no, I'm with not. how far you're reaching for no. your capital. And by the way, let's 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 analyze. Let's yeah. let's rewind for a second. Yeah. When, when Tony Romo went down after Hicks rammed him into the ground in game Cheap two against shot, the Philadelphia Eagles, him, yeah. it was a legitimate shot to me as far as I can tell. That's my yeah. recollection of it. Yeah. Here's the deal. The next game, when they played the Atlanta Falcons, mm -hmm. weren't the Dallas Cowboys up 14 to nothing? 28 to 17 28 to 17 at halftime. Is it Brandon Whedon's fault that Devontae Freeman rushed for 141 yards and 30 carries? Was it... Brandon Whedon's fault that Julio Jones was targeted 20 times, had 12 receptions nope. for 164 years. I don't think Brandon Whedon had anything I, I to do. Hold no on, hold pass on, hold on, hold on, no rule hold on, on hold on. I don't, I don't recall that being Brandon Whedon's fault. In the loss against New Orleans, didn't they go into overtime? And didn't the defense have a miscue? And wasn't that Jason Garrett's fault or, 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 or one of the rookie players that they had inserted in once one of their linebackers went down due to injury? We were down to the okay. third string that, that, linebacker. That's right, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that had nothing to to do with Brandon Whedon, but I, me, the, the, the resident cowboy hater, as they love to say, well, I am are. the one that has to come to the defense of Brandon Whedon. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't do but, much right either. Well, excuse me, excuse me. They had leads. That mm -hmm. defense that you bragged about, led by, led by Rod Marinelli, they didn't come through. Mm -hmm. There's no argument there. Okay. So why are you pointing the finger at Brandon Whedon? How many did Brandon Whedon score in the second half against the Atlanta Falcons? He not had 28 much. in the first half. Nothing. Not much like zero. That's okay, right. that's all I need to know. All right. Next question. Really? Thank you very much. Really, really. I got yep. you. You can say Matt that. Matt Castle that. from the Your outhouse to, to the, the castle. castle. Your defense, Here we come. Your defense had a lead and lost it. How nervous are you and you about this Sunday at nervous. the Giants? I was nervous last Molly Sunday. Molly says I, I, not nervous on the that. record, yes. Monday, excuse me. Willis, Stephen A. Smith, a Willis, little nervous. Willis Reed yep. imitators don't play in football. Des, Des it Reed. won't work. Yep. It's a foot Here comes injury. Des Reed. Right? All I got to do is step all on right. his foot when all else fails. Yep. Referee won't even see that. Here so we go. we're not going to see anyone uh, you're throwing, need up, that. throwing up the X this week, we don't think, or or the salsa, for that matter. Maybe <laughs> not. Are you going to do the salsa, too? Oh. <laughs> Work those hips? Yeah, go ahead and laugh. You, might, right. see you, that. you, you might see that in the end zone Whatever. Sunday. Moving on to another team that's dying for a championship, also knows a lot about injuries. Will the Cavs get revenge for last season's NBA Finals? In a poll of NBA GMs that is currently up on 